Vanilla and caramel at first. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a new, again, as most often, a new bottle here on my cask. It's a Singleton of Glendullen, 12 years old, 40% ABV. I'm afraid artificially colored and chill filtered and in this liter bottle around 50 euros, pounds, dollars. The name, the Singleton, or the brand name, the Singleton, uh, you heard a few times already here on my, uh, at my cask. Uh, I had lately the Glen Ord, the Singleton of Glen Ord, and the Singleton of Dufftown. And a decade ago, there had been a Singleton of Orosk on the market. And well, the company shares its marketing spendings uh, under the, well, the brand name the Singleton and then you have to look carefully at the label and here is Glendullen, sometimes Glenord, Dufftown. The old bottle of the Ochroisk is no longer available. It's a collector's item and reached already, well, I think 200 euros, dollars. <clears throat> have a look at the It's the same box as the others in the Singleton, so they share it. And the bottle, which is the most expensive part in a, uh, from the packaging of whiskey, because you need a special uh, production equipment for it. Um, it's also the same, this green style, this flat shape. So there you can save some money. Uh, Glendallen Distillery in the heart of Speyside since 1897. 1897, uh, Glendallen lies in the town of Dufftown, which is called the, the hidden capital of the Scottish whiskey production, um, because there are seven distilleries or have been seven distilleries in Dufftown and there the the word is coming from, the rhyme is coming from, Rome was built on seven stills, uh, on seven hills, Dufftown was built on seven stills. Um, and uh, the Dufftown distillery, the singleton of Dufftown, comes from the same village of Dufftown in the heart of Speyside. 1897, this was the last of the seven distilleries built in Dufftown. Traditional skills, selected barley. They do not have their own maltings as the Glen Ord Distillery has. <clears throat> and all your our barley is specially selected for taste and quality and is grown lo locally wherever possible. So this is a, I think it's it's a green wash. <laughs> it's a green uh, tube. So locally. Scotland isn't able to produce the barley needed for, well, for the whiskey that would be possible, but not for all the beer <laughs> the locals also consume. So beer and whiskey is not possible with the local barley. So they import a lot of barley from the continent and uh, typically it's France and Germany. Pure water, the river Fittich flows gen gently past. Uh, <clears throat> there is a band of the river Fittich in which the new uh, still house was built and the huge window with the six huge pot stills which are not that narrow, which are very pear shaped, which give an intense uh, whiskey. They look to, they face uh, the water and only in, in winter when the leave, leaves of the trees have fallen, you have a, a look on the front of the Glendallen distillery. And I think there is a an old Glendallen in the back. And if I remember right, I uh, read somewhere that the second still house, the old still house, was put into production again. But I'm not sure. Pure water. Uh, the water is definitely not coming from the river Fittich. You use, you use probably some process water from the Fittich for cooling 
your condensers. But the water comes uh, from sources in the high wooded Cornwall Hills above the distillery glen. There had been a Cornwall Moor distillery in Dufton as well. It's long closed. <clears throat> long fermentation as with the Glenor distillery up to five days. This brings additional uh, aromas into the whiskey because in lower ABVs when the well, the beer ferments, the yeasts give different or normal uh, aromas into the beer, the resulting beer, and then when the alcohol content uh, rises, uh, then the yeast gives different aromas because they, they work well close to dying. <laughs> and this brings complexity. Slow distillation, as I said with the Glenord, uh, the Singleton of Glenord, um, there are procedures in place and typically a distillation takes place for eight hours because then <laughs> you get three distillations in a whole day in a three shift work schedule. <clears throat> Balanced maturation, mm -hmm. American and European oak. Mm. The 12 year old shows citrus fresh notes of apple and pear, chewy resins and juicy red strawberry fruit, all perfectly balanced in a smooth, drying spiciness. Yeah. So this is uh, natural cork, but uh, uh, cut into pieces and, and glued together to a uh, semi-natural cork. And these one I prefer. I think I think these are the best corks you can have because this TCA, these uh, stinking uh, bacteria residues in a cork, which will poison you, the complete whiskey, uh, in terms of smell, not poison. Um, this is, I think, the best you can do. And I never had a, a bad cork when you have this uh, glued industrial cork. <clears throat> and also uh, those bottles are never leaking. They are always uh, ideally sealed. <sighs> Vanilla and caramel at first. Some fruitiness coming up. If this is apple, I don't think that this is juicy, fresh apple. This is more or less uh, an apple crumble. Yes, so it's more oxidized. Yeah, very friendly on the nose, very smooth. Low profile is wrong, very smooth, very welcoming. Mellow. Yeah, now taste is building up more and more, giving some spiciness, more intensity. Yes, a little dryness appearing. Yeah, mouth covering. A hint, a hint of chocolate coming through from the European oak. And the aftertaste is long warming. Wonderful. There had been a time, I think it was 2004 or 2005, just in front of the financial crisis, where Southern Europe consumed the Cardu, 12 years old. I think I had that already here on my cask, uh, in huge amounts, so that the distillery ran out of supplies of stock. And uh, they intended to produce a mimicry whiskey to the Cardu 12 years old 
and they, well, produced it as a Cardu, 12 year old, with a green label, and the content of that bottle uh, should have been a Glendullen, this one, um, where they changed the distillation procedure to different timings and different uh, temperatures um, so that the resulting spirit tasted very much like the Cardew. And there had been some blind tastings with this uh, Cardew vat, mm, Mimicry single, and uh, the 12 years old original. And a lot of people found out that they liked the Glendallen more than the Cardew. So this one, I think, is not uh, with it, produced with the procedure of Cardew. This very own procedure. But this whiskey is, well, it's well sipping, easily going, welcoming, friendly, smooth. And the taste is building up. Um, I think this one is, well, one of the better new bottles appearing in 2016. First, because it shows an eight statement on it. And second, because it's so balanced. Yeah, there might be better whiskies on the market. Probably the 15 year old I have already there. Um, but this one is worth the money. It's a full liter bottle, so there's 30% more in this bottle than in the typical other bottles. And uh, it's around 50, as I said. So I think it is reasonably priced. And uh, have a look at our whiskey database. Probably somebody has already uh, keyed in um, their tasting notes for this bottle that you can rely on more than one uh, judgment of this bottle. Thank you. And uh, the 15 year old is on its way.